Hello everyone. So today I am going to talk to you all about my first trimester experience. So I'll be describing all my symptoms from week 4 to week 13. So I actually started having my first symptoms in the fourth week uh, itself. Before we begin the video, here's just a disclaimer right there. This video is going to be TMI, that is too much information, obviously because um, I'll be talking about early pregnancy symptoms and my first trimester experience. So this is purely to help um, girls and women like my mama to be uh, and especially even people who are trying to conceive right now. So if you're not interested in this kind of video, then do not watch it any further. Let's talk about the early pregnancy symptoms first. Um, I actually do not believe in tracking symptoms right from the day, you know, like one DPO. DPO means day post ovulation. I started to feel symptoms only in the fourth week itself, which is the week after, um, I guess, implantation or uh, the process of conception has occurred. So let's begin with that. So on the 26th, no, I mean 27th, 5th of November, it was like, um, I guess, a week before my expected period date or you can say a few days before my expected period date. So that day, um, we just went out. So we went out that day and we had to like get a few car accessories for our new car. There was some feature that he wanted to like ask the car um, dealer person like we were trying to figure it out so he's he told us that okay let's go sir we'll show you um, the feature and you can learn it so i was sitting in the back seat and he was sitting in the front seat along with the person from the showroom i just started feeling so hot and i literally started sweating and i started feeling something like nausea so that was uh, like i think it was one of the first symptoms and then uh, next day my period date was still not here and i spotted a little so that was um, not something that i usually get before the actual period but I just left it, it uh, like I did not think a lot of about it and then um, on the 1st of December was my expected uh, period date so I just tested on um, a day before so there was a very faint line and it was a very normal uh, test like it was we don't get fast response test here in India so it was a normal pregnancy test and uh, a line showed up it was like quite evident but a faint line indeed then on the day of the expected period which was first i tested and there was a clear line there still i wasn't able to believe i don't know why then what happened was i just kept on testing for th two three more days till uh, almost like 5th of December and every day the line just kept getting more and more darker and then I was like confirmed and I then that is when I shared with him my husband to be very sure we also did a HCG blood test on the 10th of December which was like I was five weeks sorry burping is like a very common thing in pregnancy and you just have to bear with it i keep burping every now and then now very shamelessly so um on four week five day what i logged in was that i was feeling a lot of bloating and fatigue then in the fifth week 
I have logged in that I was getting some back pain uh, and this back pain was like a normal back pain <laughs> so this was like a normal back pain that you get uh, like in the PMS uh, kind of time uh, tender tender breasts and you know like it was also winters in December so um, it was the tenderness was very very different I mean um, it just ramped up further in the pregnancy I was also getting headaches and I was tired a lot of women talk about feeling extremely wiped out and exhausted as soon as uh, the first trimester begins but I wasn't feeling extreme tiredness I was feeling uh, like fatigue and tiredness but not the extreme kind in the sixth week I have logged in again tender breasts and um, I also got some major mood swings in the sixth week like mood swing in the sense that I was feeling really really emotional this was the time when I we told our uh, parents about this news uh, so I also share that video how we told our friends and family that's a very sweet video when I told my dad and brother at home so I was feeling really emotional because I was missing my um, mama a lot at that time uh, like what would it feel and how it would have been if I could have told her this news because she would have been the happiest it was a very emotional week for me sixth uh, week also I was feeling quite irritated on him I don't know means I was feeling really um, distant from him as well uh, my husband <laughs> I don't know if it's hormonal or not but that's what I belonged and as feelings as the pregnancy progresses in the first trimester the nausea comes uh, in a lot like stronger so I was just trying to eat as nutritious as possible for as long as I could um, like as long as I could uh, stomach normal food I was trying to eat it and then again I was bloated and tired now in the end of sixth week is when the nausea hit hard like um, I just remember that feeling I we, I got up in the morning and you know I'm the kind of person who just needs breakfast as soon as I get up but um, I was hungry and but when I saw the breakfast it was something that I liked I just felt like pukish seeing that food even first sip of tea I took and I was like I can't take it anymore means I'll definitely puke after this so uh, that was the time when actually in the sixth week we uh, in the beginning of the week we did visit the doctor so she had prescribed me a medicine for nausea later on if I get it but I did not take it that morning and then this is the week when the food aversions also began and I got bad headaches along with nausea. The nausea was um, bad especially during the morning and the evening time. And then I have logged in that I still went for walks like um, 6 to 7k steps of walks. We both went for it. Those walks really made me feel better in my um, nausea so seventh week is when um, I was getting a lot of headaches and bloating issues and I think I had extreme nausea means I did not end up throwing uh, throwing up ever but the nausea was really bad like if this tablet was not prescribed to me at that time I think I would have ended up eating nothing it's like having continuous motion sickness even if you are sitting in the comfort of your bedroom because my gynac had told me that it's completely safe to take it do take it if you are unable to eat anything because eating uh, is really important right now now let's move on to eighth week so in the eighth week I was feeling tired I was getting cravings again 
and I just I remember one one day in the eighth week I actually ended up ordering a McDonald's mac veggie burger and fries the eighth week i also we also went for the heartbeat scan like we uh, heard our baby's heartbeat so that's when i told uh, the doctor that the nausea is really increasing nowadays and i actually can't eat anything if you would have not prescribed me those um, tablets so she just explained it to me that do not try to like avoid um, these tablets in the pretext of uh, not taking medicines because uh, it's completely safe in fact it has vitamin b6 so it is a kind of a supplement only so just um, eat, just have it after breakfast and before sleeping you will be fine now let's move on to the ninth week uh, ninth week ninth week was lack of symptoms i have uh, logged in lack of symptoms so what happened is that uh, you know like this first trimester journey has really taught me something uh, you know initially there is a lot of um, uncertainty and uh, if you had previous losses then there is a lot of uh, fear also in your mind that you will end up losing the baby somehow or you will end up bleeding means um, first trimester is the time when a lot of you know like fluids and there's a lot of um, sorry for the TMI but a lot of fluid uh, is you know coming out of you so I what I would recommend is do wear panty liners inside um, because that uh, that will just help you and give you some peace of mind that uh, it's just uh, normal fluid and not you are not bleeding by week 9 I had observed a pattern that sometimes the a few days the symptoms may disappear completely but then I observed that when the symptoms came back they came back with a vengeance now in the 10th week the symptoms started really intensifying also I like the tender breast symptoms I told you about uh, it was really cold at that time it was January I think um, almost 10th of January I was feeling like literally burning sensation in my breasts um, every time I would change clothes and they were exposed to the cold for some time also it felt like literally my breasts were on fire it was so so bad and uncomfortable like I used to sit like this in pain they came in for uh, almost 10 minutes and then they went away slowly but for those 10 minutes it literally felt like my breasts were on fire I think the winter and cold temperatures made it worse in the nausea also returned uh, with the double intensity in the 10th week like I there was one day when I almost uh, was going to puke I just sat there trying to just vomit but nothing came out um, I couldn't eat anything since morning you know like what I feel is that if you leave your stomach empty for a long time the nausea gets worse so I forcefully fed myself a few things like dry fruits and seeds etc 10th week is when I started seeing a little bump there then moving on to 11th week so that's when I so in the 11th week I uh, weighed myself and I found that I had gained almost 1.5 kgs from my starting weight um, I mean it's totally normal to not gain anything in the first trimester or you can gain up to 2 kgs maybe Moving on to the 12th week now, uh, here I have logged in that I had a headache, I felt tired and the backache, oh my god, 
uh, that backache uh, is not a joke. I mean, it was not that dull backache that you get in the PMS. It's actually a side joint pain or like your ligaments and muscles in the back they are getting relaxed due to a hormone called relaxin and I even uh, like I started experiencing it in the end of 10th week only but I just couldn't understand what was happening with me but it just got worse in the 12th week and now I don't know I literally cry every night while shifting in bed means I cannot shift in the bed or turn without crying at night even getting up is really hard and I think I started getting that back pain really early on in the pregnancy even when there was no weight gain and no bump so it actually happens due to the release of the hormone called relaxin and I started getting it at the end of the first trimester only some people do get it in the last trimester but I was one of the few unlucky ones so uh, started getting it really early on. Let me know in comments if you are that person, if you are pregnant and you started getting that bad ligament and SI joint back pain early on in the pregnancy. More symptoms in the 12th week were I was getting a lot of headaches and um, body ache also. This is the week when we had our NTNV scan also like uh, where they measure the uh, fluid behind the neck of the baby and they um, like check if there is a nasal bone present or not and we also got a double marker test, blood test at that time. That's just another story for another video. I'll surely share it separately because it was like the NTNV test was fine but the double marker test was uh, it really brought us a lot of stress which I'll discuss it in another video soon then I have logged in for 13th week uh, technically the first trimester is up to 13th week so I have logged in and uh, I have logged in till the 13th week so in the 13th week also I have lots of aches here and there headache was there and uh, also I started getting few acne on my face in the 13th week I don't know like uh, it was a change of the trimester like a transition time and I had heard that your skin uh, starts producing more oil I have logged in the 14th week also I don't know if it's counted in the first trimester or not but in 14th week I was really irritated I had a lot of bad um, backache like the joint pain I was getting and uh, acne was also there okay now let's talk about food aversions that I had <laughs> aversions were like I was not able to eat uh, normal arhar dal the, the pulses I was not able to digest it as soon as I saw it I felt nauseous and then as it was winters a uh, lot of green peas were used in everything I just used to love it every winter but this time I could not even look at it anything green and green peas I just hated it like it just made me so nauseous so so nauseous also I did not like cabbage at all it was so bad I hated cabbage and me a coffee lover was not able to look at coffee at that time now what were my cravings my cravings were spicy stuff like very spicy as it was winters I was craving egg curry a lot like um, egg curry is something that is really spicy I just wanted to have spicy stuff like very spicy along with chilies I just love chilies green chilies and then my cravings were burger and fries like McDonald's make veggie burger and fries was something that couldn't make me sick it was like uh, the, the baby <laughs> liked getting burgers <laughs> But I did not give in to those cravings. I had, I think, twice, only twice, I ordered in a burger from McD and fries. 
now my tips and tricks to manage nausea if you are suffering from it um, and how to deal with the first trimester so how, this is something that worked on me i don't know like if you have extreme nausea and you have vomiting issues that i know some women suffer really really bad in their uh, first trimester and even i was afraid for it but by grace of god and i am really grateful that i did not end up vomiting and i could eat uh, food and even though i felt a lot of nausea but i did not end up puking at all so my number one tip is no empty stomach like uh, when you are feeling hungry i mean when you are feeling nauseous the pregnancy nausea is something like you'll feel hungry also and you'll feel nauseous also so keep healthy snacks near you to just grab it and eat it as soon as you start feeling nausea what helped me was having high protein snacks so what uh, i did was i used to have scrambled egg or half fried egg along with veggies and uh, then i also kept a lot of greek yogurt uh, in my fridge so i just uh, took out a greek yogurt i added some chia seeds in it and you can also add a sweetener if you want and just grabbed it and had it so that was really quick filling sorry i also um had a lot of dry fruits especially apricots try to have a lot of apricots in the first trimester because they have a lot of folate or folic acid in a natural form so they'll really help you and they also help in controlling the symptoms so i kept uh, apricots along with me and then i had the uh, cashews raisins i had lot of it like i just grabbed a handful and just ate it whenever i felt really really hungry i ate a lot of parathas in the morning like uh, as it was winter so flour like it was flour based so it was carb but along with it there were uh, a lot of sags in that like bathue ka paratha and gobhi ka paratha sattu paratha all of this like i ate a lot of <laughs> like one or two parathas in the morning in breakfast and that really helped calm the nausea down along with it i also took the tablets that my obgyn prescribed it is a vitamin b6 based uh, tablet that was all for symptoms and cravings and how i dealt with the first trimester also um i kept on like working out at home and taking a lot of walks because that movement was something that really helped me with nausea actually i had a, a knee surgery in july so i was totally immobile immobile from july till almost october and november but as soon as i found out about the pregnancy i started going on walks again with my husband so first it was 4k steps then it was 5k steps slowly and gradually we increased the steps so i made sure that i uh, did some light strength training like with the weights that i have at home i used to do this uh, regime even before i fell down in july like before my knee surgery so my body was kind of used to it also the it helped me with my knee also like my knee rehab uh, i left the um, physiotherapy but then working out at home really helped in strengthening my knee further also so that's what helped me if you are into exercising strength training and walking then do do it please i know you you are feeling a, like a lot of tiredness you are feeling exhausted you are feeling nauseous but if you can then do move like get up and move go for a long walk or do a strength training session at home exercises 
इट रियली हेल्प मी मैनेज माई नोजिया इनफैक्ट माई नोजिया फेल बेटर आफ्टर वर्किंग आउट आई केप टोन ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड इफ आई वॉज फीलिंग एक्सट्रीमली हंगरी इन बिटवीन द वर्कआउट्स आई यूज टू ग्रैप दोज ड्राई फ्रूट्स नट्स सीड्स एंड योगर्ट एंड जस्ट फीट इट सो दैट्स हाउ आई मैनेज माई नोजिया एंड डिड नॉट एंड अप ईटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ अनहेल्दी फूड आई सम हाउ एट हेल्दी ओनली even in my first trimester because these were the things that i followed uh, what all they were i exercised at home 3 to 4 times a week strength training exercises then i went for 6 to 10k walks like we used to go for 10k walks on the weekends and almost 6 to 7k on weekdays every day almost every day <laughs> okay and then what helped me was the anti nausea tablets that my doctor prescribed eating frequently in small quantities don't be on empty stomach or you will end up throwing up for sure that nausea will make you throw up and uh, what else if you are feeling really un- like you are getting negative feelings and feelings of uncertainty in the first trimester um uh, like then do read some affirmations pregnancy affirmations for first trimester because i read them and they really helped me so affirmations you must read to feel positive about the pregnancy journey and what your body is capable of so that was all that was my first trimester experience uh, that's what i wanted to share with you all i have mentioned everything almost in detail if you have any other questions then do leave a comment on the video and please like my video and subscribe to my channel more pregnancy related videos are coming soon i'll be also sharing my um, ttc journey very soon and um, i of then the second trimester experience obviously and i have a lot of vlogs coming up so stay tuned see you in the next video